The principle of the Persona browser is to highlight the connection between success criteria of WCAG and people for which the conformance of those success criteria is essential. The Persona browser is therefore a user-centered classification scheme for WCAG. Each success criterion is at least pictured by one persona. Personas are grouped into four categories of general impairment types. Visual, auditory, physical and cognitive. One can directly jump to a specific persona by clicking on their entry. Let's have a look at Carol. Here one can read about her backstory and her specific impairment. This includes a short story of a day in the life of Carol. By scrolling down, one can check the success criteria that are essential for Carol. Therefore, the success criteria are filtered to match her needs. One can make further adjustments by filtering Carol's success criteria according to their conformance level. For instance, only single A conformance level. A click on a success criterion will lead to a description on how to meet this specific requirement. This success criterion, for example, states that all non-text content on a web page needs to have a textual representation. For instance, images having an alternative text that describes the information conveyed in that image. Carol is blind, hence she is using a screen reader that reads out the textual descriptions to make the information in an image accessible for her. Additionally, each success criterion provides an overview over all personas that also benefit from its compliance. Another way to explore the persona browser is through the guidelines page. Here we have all principles guidelines and success criteria of WCAG. This view can be customized by applying filter options. For instance, showing only success criteria that are labeled as beneficial for personas, the persona browser, with cognitive impairment.